Hi, I'm Lauren Lucille Vassar, host of an online show called The Celiac Diva, where I bring people the dish on all things gluten-free. And today I'm here partnering with Char to bring you Better Without, your guide to a gluten-free life. Where our mission here today is to bring you all sorts of practical tips and information to make your gluten-free life both easy and fun. So no matter whether you're newly diagnosed or you've been gluten-free for a long, long time, this series is just for you. Hi, I'm Ann Roland Lee, Char's dietitian and your resource for a gluten-free lifestyle. We're here today to give you information on a gluten-free diet as well as tips to navigate through your gluten-free life. We at Char realize that doing gluten-free at home is easy, but navigating the outside world is something else. So today we invited some of our gluten-free friends over to host a party to help give you the best tips on navigating through hosting a party and attending a party. That's right, it's time to celebrate. If you're like me and you love having people in your home, hosting your own gluten-free party is totally the way to go. I mean, because after all, then you're totally in control of the entire setting. Absolutely. Hosting your own party is one of the easiest ways to navigate through entertaining. There you can offer, you can decide whether you want all gluten-free products. There we would recommend, you know, using a mix of naturally gluten-free as well as manufactured gluten-free products. And now there's so many choices. At Char even, we have breadsticks, crackers, cheese bites, cookies, anything you could possibly want. Mm -hmm. But you may decide for your guests to have both gluten containing products as well as gluten-free. And there we want to make sure that you follow that, those same rules we talked about, avoiding cross-contamination. So whether you would use a separate table, we, we would recommend to keep all the gluten-containing items on that table, but also color code it and make sure that they're totally separate so there's no double dipping involved and you're, you're absolutely safe. And it's easy then for your guests to navigate too because some of your guests may also be gluten-free. Absolutely, and we love that. <laughs> right. So those are great tips for when you're hosting your own gluten-free party. Party, but isn't it true that you have to be a little more careful when you go to a party that's you know a non gluten free party? Absolutely. If you're hosting your own, it's easy to control. If you're going to someone else's house, the best thing to do is when they call to give you the invitation or when you respond to the invitation, let them know right then and there that you need to be gluten free. So that's true. So at a small party, it's a great idea, like you said, to talk to the host and let them know that even a small crumb has serious ramifications when it comes Absolutely. to your health, you know? Mm -hmm. And although that may not be as easy to do when you go to a large party, when you hit, a, hit up a large party, you know, you just really want to trust your instincts and trust the gluten-free knowledge that you have. That's so true, because a large party, you're not going to have the same control that you would at a smaller party or even hosting your own. So there again, the navigation tools and tips are really keep in mind whatever you need to do to keep, you know, cross-contamination at a minimum. Look at the table, kind of survey the land, and figure out what things might have been cross-contaminated by double dipping. If there's naturally gluten-free items on the table, like shrimp or cheese or veggies, but they're either on a plate with gluten-containing things or nearby or the table's not kept really neat and clean, mm -hmm. stay away. It's not worth risking your health. It really isn't. No, it's totally not. Okay, so one common question when it comes to gluten-free entertaining is alcoholic beverages. Right? I mean, so we know that beer is off limits because it has barley in it, so which is gluten. So beer is a no-no unless you have a dedicated gluten-free beer. Then you're good to go. But Anne, tell us a little more about what about other beverages? With alcoholic beverages, there's actually some very good news. Your wines and champagnes are totally gluten-free naturally. Your distilled beverages, al um, distilled alcohols like gin, rye, rum, whiskey, any of those are rendered gluten-free by the distillation process. The distillation process actually removes all of that protein, which would be the gluten-containing item, and renders that totally gluten-free. However, you need to be careful about what gets mixed into that distilled alcohol. If it's straight soda or seltzer, not a problem, totally gluten-free. However, the pre-made mixers you need to be careful of, because there you could have some hidden gluten-containing ingredients. All right, guys, now that we've talked about these fantastic tips when it comes to gluten-free etiquette at a party, let's go talk to our guests and dive in and ask them about their tips and experiences when it comes to entertaining as well. They'll probably have great ones. Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> Hi 
guys, I'm here with Aaron, who is the head of the New York City Celiac Disease Meetup Group. So what are some of your tips when it comes to gluten-free entertaining when somebody goes to a party? Um, well, I'll tell you, I always eat before I go to a party, okay. but then when I get there, I'll kind of assess the table, see what they have, look for the vegetables, because vegetables are gluten-free, and, and I'll always bring something with me. I would say bring something that's naturally gluten-free to the party, and just incorporate your friends in what you're eating, whether it's hummus and vegetables, or uh, prosciutto and dates, or figs, and something just, you know, that's natural. Don't go over the top, you know, people are intimidated by the words gluten-free. So true. You, know, you could bring anything. Really. So be prepared and share with everybody. You heard it here. <laughs> I'm here with Lisa and Anya, and I just wanted to ask them. Okay, Anya, when you go to a and get invited to a party, do you get nervous, or do you feel really confident in your decision to go? I actually get really nervous, but what I do is I usually call the host or hostess and see if I can bring something myself that I know will be gluten free that I can eat, and then other people can share and enjoy. But hopefully, there's other things I can eat there too. Awesome. So you really prepare ahead of time. Awesome. What about you, Lisa? Do you get nervous or are you like, I got this? <laughs> um, I mean, normally I'm okay because all of my friends really know about what's what gluten is in and what it's not in because I talk to them a lot. So I, I would say that's awesome. a really great thing to do to talk to your friends. Tell them, you know, it's in soy sauce, it's in all these things that you may not think of. And I find that when people invite me to things, they're like, oh, I, I got this for you and I have this for you and this is okay, right? And people want to help. So yeah, so that's my tip. That's an awesome tip. <laughs> thank you, ladies. Sure, so. thank you. Hi everybody, I'm here with Amy from The Healthy Apple and Kirsten with What to Feed Your Kids. All right ladies, so tell me, what are some of your tips when it comes to going to a gluten-free party? What about you, Amy? I always eat before I go. It's whether it's crudite and hummus or a piece of turkey, chicken, some Greek yogurt, always make sure to get a healthy fat, some kind of avocado, lean proteins, and fill it with some veggies. This way, by the time when I get to the party, if there's nothing I can eat, I'm pretty good to go. Or bring a dish with you, some kind Absolutely. of casserole or some kind of gluten-free dish. Lovely tips, thank you. What about you, Kirsten? Um, well, I would say, I would tell families who have a gluten-free member of the family or an hour to bring to make a holiday dinner that was completely gluten-free so that, that that person could enjoy the dinner with everyone else, with food, the, the gluten-free products that they have today. I think that's pretty doable. Absolutely. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Thank you. And this is so great. Haven't you enjoyed this? This has been absolutely amazing. It really shows everything we talked about, that you can entertain gluten-free, you can go somewhere gluten-free, and have it be all safe and easy. All those things we talked about, you know, letting the hostess know ahead, um, bringing your own dish, watching yes. out for cross-contamination, it's all covered, and you can really go and celebrate your gluten-free life. It's so important. Absolutely. Go do it. Celebrate.